Joshua Tree National Park is immense. Nearly 800,000 acres and infinitely variable. It can seem unwelcoming, even brutal during the heat of summer. This is a land shaped by strong winds, sudden torrents of rain, and climactic extremes. Rainfall is sparse and unpredictable. Stream beds are usually dry and water holes are few. For a first time visitor, the desert only hints at its vitality. Closer examination reveals a fascinating variety of plants and animals. Two deserts, two large ecosystems primarily determined by elevation, come together in the park. Few areas more vividly illustrate the contrast between high and low desert. Below 3,000 feet, the Colorado Desert, occupying the eastern half of the park, is dominated by the abundant creosote bush. Adding interest to this arid land are small stands of spidery ocotillo and choya cactus. The higher, slightly cooler, and wetter Mojave Desert is the special habitat of the undisciplined Joshua Tree, extensive stands of which occur throughout the western half of the park. According to legend, Mormon pioneers considered the limbs of the Joshua Tree to resemble the upstretched arms of Joshua, leading them to the Promised Land. Others were not as visionary. Early explorer John Fremont described them as the most repulsive tree in the vegetable kingdom. The park encompasses some of the most interesting geologic displays found in California's deserts. Rugged mountains of twisted rock and exposed granite monoliths testify to the tremendous earth forces that shaped and formed this unique and beautiful land.